Okay, so welcome back. I'm getting these kits together that I call the Advanced Rescue and Recovery Kits, or ARCs for short. And I've decided to um, go into specialties on certain things because, as I indicated in one of the previous segments, a knife has historically been a very, very important tool. And the, what I'm really gathering these resources for is because... A lot of people think that, oh, well, that's never going to happen to me, or I'm not going to get into a situation like that. But one very common thing that happens to people is forced or non-forced evacuation or voluntary evacuation. It could be a storm. It could be war. It could be flooding. It could be tsunami. You might get some warning. It could be an earthquake. It could be a whole lot of reasons why the roads get clogged, and you need to take something in your car. And in a worst-case scenario, for example, people who had some... Like in Japan, I mean, they just walk and they're never going to ever, ever see their home or their things again. So you want to know that you have at least some things together that you can not only help yourself and save yourself, but perhaps help some others. And a knife, as I've said, is a very, very powerful thing. Now, you don't have to go out and buy a bunch of special knives and go get into this whole knife thing. You know, there are things probably in your house that you could take and put in a kit, you might have three or four extras of them. And I'll give you an example. These knives over here come right out of a kitchen. You got a high quality um, <coughs> chef's knife, nothing too big. You don't want anything that's bigger than you can handle, you know. And this one here, for example, is very lightweight, has a very strong stainless steel blade, it's flexible, and it can be used to cut rope. It can even be used for a medical emergency, it can even be used for self protection. So you get something like this, and while you're at it, get yourself a sharpener. These things come in handy. These are laying around the house, usually. But you get basically just maybe one smaller knife and one larger knife. Now, even in a real pinch, I mean, it sounds silly, but, you know, something like this could even cut rope, perhaps. But you don't want to depend on something that flimsy. Now, you get into a little bit more of the so-called, uh, you know, sportsman-type knives. You have something like this, which is a very solid knife. It's stainless steel, very well made. It locks into position, so um, it'll hold the blade out, and it fits on your belt. Now, you have some smaller versions. I love this little one here. It's by Sheffield, and very lightweight, but also very sharp. And you can keep that in your pocket. You can put it on a string. You can just easily... Uh, cut through rope with this, something a little bit more delicate like this, but this could even come in handy. When I was a kid, I remember, like a lot of people, would say, wow, there's a little knife, and as a boy, you just like get all excited, but these things are very, very useful and last a really long time. Here's another kind of survival type knife. It's got a sheath, and by the way, on the subject of sheaths, if you're going to use a knife, you might as well use some gloves. Get some really good gloves, because a knife, you don't want to hurt you, and, you know, you can put that glove, a nice leather glove on there, and you can uh, feel a lot safer when you use a knife. Now, something like this is also very, very useful. This is made by Sheffield. There's a lot of cheapies out there. I got this used on eBay. It's in fine condition, and when taken well cared for, this would last literally another 50 years. It has a very sharp blade. It's made of good stainless steel metal. It has many options here, both types of screwdrivers a hole punch, a real pliers, a genuine saw, and a screwdriver, and a can opener. So these kind of things, you can get one, you just leave it in your car, and if you ever have to evacuate, you'll have some real tools. Now this one, I love this one, this is by Sheffield, and they make quality knives. This one has a little flashlight here, um, and it has uh, a, a decent pliers. And it has both types of screwdrivers, a real saw that can, it's pretty sharp, and a, a sharp blade. Now, like I said, you keep these in your pocket or your purse, or you put it in your car, and you don't need to worry about it. But you can also gather yourself together a, a big kit. Now, a couple other things. You're going to need a little light if you're going to be working with knives. And a rope always comes in handy because sometimes... <clears throat> You know, knife and rope can actually create yourself some housing and so on. But, you know, the main thing to remember is you don't need a lot of fancy tools. So you don't need to go out and buy something like new. Or you don't need a giant sized knife. <clears throat> you need something that is sharp, that will maintain itself for a long time. 
and that is easy to take care of and preferably you know if you have a sheath now if you don't have a sheath for a kitchen knife you can grab you can wrap it up some gloves put some tape around it just try to protect it from something and from yourself or you can, and you also should have a rag because sometimes accidents happen with knives and uh, it's a good thing to have because also you can you know keep the, the knife from getting um, all dirty and so on so again that's a little bit of a brief review about knives and I suggest that people put one uh, get two and put one in their carry pack or leave one in your car at all times. So thanks for watching.